वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला टूडेज टॉपिक इज शेफ फंक्शन इन नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम हे टू पॉइंट दैट यू हेव टू कवर इन टूडेज टॉपिक फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज शेफ फंक्शन फॉर थ्री नोडेड ट्रैंगुलर एलिमेंट्स and the second point is shape function for four noded rectangular elements in last session we have seen the shape functions for linear two noded one dimensional bar elements so today we will discuss triangular and rectangular elements mm, here yeah, the figure shows the three noded triangular elements in natural coordinate system and local coordinate system the simple element used in the analysis of 2d problems or two dimensional problems is the three noded triangular element it is also known as constant strain triangular element the elements is shown in natural coordinates by three noded node 1 2 and 3 as it is two in two direction so we required two directional coordinates for natural coordinate system one is epsilon and another is the theta the coordinates of node 1 and 10 and coordinates at node 2 is 0 1 the shift functions at node 1 n1 is equal to 1 why the shift function n1 on the opposite sides of node 2 and 3 is 0 and vice versa for other nodes and p is the any point inside the triangular element having coordinates epsilon and theta similarly in local coordinate system the triangular element is shown in the right side figure where the node 1 has coordinates x1 y1 node 2 has coordinate x2 y2 and node 3 has coordinates x3 y3 each node having two degrees of freedom u and v at respective nodes and now seeing node 1 has local coordinates x1 y1 and natural coordinates 1 0 Well, node two has local coordinates x two y two and natural coordinates zero one. In that node three, the local coordinate is x three y three and natural coordinate is zero zero. Let x y is the local coordinate of any point P, and epsilon n is the natural coordinate of that point P. Then at node one. Now, since n one is equal to one, n two is equal to n three is equal to zero, epsilon is equal to one, and theta is equal to zero. At node two, n one is equal to zero, n two is equal to one, n three is equal to zero, epsilon is equal to zero, and theta is equal to one. Similarly, at node three, n one is equal to n two is equal to zero. n3 is equal to 1 epsilon is equal to theta is equal to 0 so shift function in any point is given by n1 is equal to epsilon n2 is equal to theta and n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus theta the displacement in terms of nodal displacement can be given as ln u is equal to u v displacement vector within the element therefore u n is equal to u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 there is some mistakes in that matrix the u n is equal to u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 where u n is the element nodal displacement vector it's a column matrix we can write the displacement equations as u is equal to n1 e1 
प्लस एन टू यू टू प्लस एन थ्री यू थ्री और एन वन यू वन प्लस नाउ वे आर एंटरिंग यू अदर साइड डायरेक्शन अदर डायरेक्शनल वेरिएबल ऑल्सो सो एन वन यू वन प्लस जीरो टाइम्स वी वन प्लस एन टू यू टू प्लस जीरो टाइम्स वी टू प्लस एन थ्री यू थ्री प्लस जीरो टाइम्स वी थ्री सिमिलरली फॉर सेकेंड डायरेक्शन वी यू कैन राइट एन वन वी वन प्लस एन टू वी टू प्लस एन थ्री वी थ्री और जीरो टाइम्स वी वन प्लस एन वन वी वन प्लस जीरो टाइम्स वी टू प्लस एन टू वी टू प्लस जीरो टाइम्स वी थ्री प्लस एन थ्री वी थ्री और इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म वी कैन राइट एन वेक्टर यू वी इज इक्वल टू शेप फंक्शन मैट्रिक्स एन वन जीरो एन टू जीरो एन थ्री जीरो द सेकेंड रो वन डेन जीरो एन वन जीरो एन टू जीरो एन थ्री एन टू डिसप्लेसमेंट वेरिएबल मैट्रिक्स यू वन वी वन यू टू वी टू यू थ्री वी थ्री और ग्लोबली यू इज इक्वल टू एन टाइम्स यू एन Similarly, shift functions for four noded rectangular element. A rectangular a rectangular element used in the analysis of two-dimensional problems is the four noded rectangular element. The figure shows four noded rectangular element in local coordinate system and natural coordinate system, and the element is in two direction. So there are two Uh, degrees of freedom per node of an element <coughs> in local coordinate system node 1 2 3 and 4 are the nodal points of the element and ui vi are the respective degrees of freedom per node similarly in natural coordinate system there are two coordinates epsilon and theta along the axis and the node One, two, three, four are connected through the initial points. That is, node one has a coordinate minus one minus one. Node two has a coordinate one minus one. Node three has a coordinate one one, and node four has a coordinate minus one one. Now, seeing this, at node one, local coordinate is x one y one, while natural coordinate is minus one minus one. At node two, the local coordinate is x two y two, while the natural coordinate is one minus one. At node three, the local coordinate is x three y three, while the natural coordinates are one one. At node four, the local coordinates are x four y four, while the natural coordinates are minus one one. Plan x y with the local coordinates of any point p within the element. Similarly, epsilon n is the natural coordinates of that point within the element. So at node one, n one is one, while n two is equal to n three is equal to n four is equal to zero. Epsilon is equal to theta is equal to minus one. So we can write n one is equal to c times one minus epsilon into one minus theta. Similarly, at node two. N one is equal to zero, N two is equal to one, N three is equal to N four is equal to zero, epsilon is equal to one, and theta is equal to minus one. So N two is equal to C times one plus epsilon into one minus epsilon. At node three, N one is equal to N two is equal to zero, N three is equal to one, N four is equal to zero. Epsilon is equal to theta is equal to one. So at node three, we can write n three is equal to c times one plus epsilon into one plus theta. At node four, n one is equal to n two is equal to n three is equal to zero. N four is equal to one. Epsilon is equal to minus one, and theta is equal to one. So we can write n four is equal to C times one minus epsilon and into one plus theta. 
the value of c can be found by at node 1 when c n1 is equal to 1 epsilon is equal to minus 1 and eta is equal to minus 1 by putting this value in the n1 expression we will get c is equal to 1 by 4 hence the shape functions are n1 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon into 1 minus eta n2 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon into 1 minus eta n3 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon into 1 plus epsilon and n4 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon into 1 plus eta the displacement vectors can be written as u is equal to shape function matrix into displacement matrix ok friends this is about the shape function for three noted uh, triangular element and four noted rectangular element the three noted triangular element has three shape functions n1 n2 n3 while four noted rectangular element has four functions n1 n2 n3 n4 in case of three noted n1 is equal to epsilon n2 is equal to eta n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus eta and in case of four noted n1 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon 1 minus epsilon 1 minus eta n2 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon 1 plus eta n3 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon 1 plus eta and n4 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon 1 plus eta this is about the shape function in 3 <coughs> three noted and 4 noted elements in the next last session we will discuss about the shape functions in case of bar elements thank you